Hi, in this video I'm looking at factorial notation and how to write it in expanded form and evaluate it and basically what it means. So I've got 3 factorial, 9 factorial and 0 factorial. Now a factorial is defined as from the number that you're starting off with work your way down in increments of 1 until you reach 1 and multiply all the numbers. So 3 factorial is going to be 3, then 2, then 1, all multiplied. And so then if we work this out, evaluate it, we get 6. So the expanded form of 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1, and the result is 6. Let's have a look at 9 factorial. I'm sure you're guessing this can already be a really big number, it's because we're going to have 9, then 8, then 7, then 6, then 5, then 4, then 3, then 2, then 1, and we've got to multiply all of those. And you can sit there trying to do some smart multiplying, like doing 8 times 4 will give you 40, and 6 times 3 is 18, might be something easy to work with, things like that. Or you can just chuck it in your calculator. Either way, when you finish working it out, you should get 362880. 362,880. So quite a big number for 9 factorial. And these get big very quickly. Now my last one, 0 factorial. Now I said that a factorial is defined from going the starting number down in increments until you reach 1. But we're starting at 0, which is already below 1. 0 factorial is the special case for factorials, and it's always defined as just equaling 1. It's nothing that we work out, it's just a convention that 0 factorial equals 1, and it comes in useful when you're using the permutation and combination formulas, for example, because there are a few cases where you end up with 0 factorial, and that's on a divide, so we've made it be 1. So there you go. Factorial means multiply from the starting number down to 1 in increments and then work out the answer.